Assalamu alaikum and welcome students. Um, you are back after your holidays. And uh, let's ask you. Okay, ji. Uh, yes, uh, you are back after your holidays. We are resuming our classes from today. Um, first, uh, I would like you to share uh, your holiday activities with me. Uh, I am sure that you enjoyed a lot but because you had a, a long holiday. Uh, it was about 10 days. So uh, someone wants to share? What, what did you do? Actually, can I share it? Okay. And some really interesting things uh, like uh, some creative uh, ideas or uh, you did something creative. Uh, would you want to share it? Gee, anyone? Yes, teacher. Gee. Yes, teacher. I made some drawings which are related to my English book. Wow, Mahavish. Uh, that's really, really um, appreciable. Okay, like, I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, anyone else uh, wants to share? Kya kiya bhai, holidays mein? Did you do something interesting? Ji, Dania. Anyone? Okay, Ji. Okay, Ji. Okay, Ji. Uh, I'm glad that you are back and um, uh, I am hoping that you uh, must be, uh, uh, you must remember what we were doing before our holidays. Like, uh, what did we do in our last English class? Hmm. Anyone has idea? Ji. Teacher, can I tell? Yes. Uh, I was actually asking you, uh, did, do you remember what we did in our last class? Your last English class, Siti, what did we do in it? Do you remember something? We, yes, teacher. We read the chapter this morning is our history test. We just learned about, uh, we just learned the poem and discuss it. Mm, we discussed it and we had the stanza explanation as well. Very good. Thank you so much. And uh, now let's uh, let's see what we are going to do today. Achha. So here is your today's. Okay, uh, this is unit two, lesson two. This morning is our history test. As Mahavish told us that we did the reading. Uh, the Stin's explanation and introduction in detail in our last class. So this is our lecture number two regarding this topic. Let's see. Okay. Acha, uh, just for you to um, recall the poem, uh, I have something for you here. Please uh, uh, listen this very carefully. This morning is our history test. This morning is our history test. I've pinned my notes inside my vest. Inside my coat I wrote my notes, including dates and famous quotes. I've written more upon my hands that only I can understand. And in my socks and sleeves I stowed my scribbled notes in secret code. I've written down so many names of winners of Olympic Games, of buildings, people, places too, from Tennessee to Timbuktu. I even copied down a piece on ancient Rome and ancient Greece, plus everything from Shakespeare's plays to who invented mayonnaise. I came to school so well prepared, I wasn't nervous, wasn't scared. But here it is, the history test. I look inside my coat and vest to get the dates and famous quotes and find I cannot read my notes. So much for Shakespeare, Greece, and Rome. I left my glasses back at home. Okay. So, uh, gee, uh, did you uh, hear this? Did you listen to it? Yes. Anyone is here with me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Haji, uh, did you enjoy it? Yes. Did you did you observe the way this guy was uh, reciting this uh, poem? Hey, no? yes, uh, that that was fun. That was fun. Okay. Uh, so this was a review uh, because uh, like uh, we are okay. Uh, so um, let's have some more details and more discussion on this poem right this morning is our history test is a humorous poem 
written in rhyming couplets. Achha, this has been discussed previously as well. Uh, humorous, uh, as we have seen that uh, this is a poem about a boy who wanted to cheat in exams and in such a ridiculous manner that he mm, did all the uh, possible efforts uh, in, in gathering, in collecting the, the material and keep it inside his uh, like uh, clothes, right? Uh, but in the end, as a con consequence, he forgot his glasses. Oh, and he could not do anything. Achha. This next uh, thing is rhyming couplets. Rhyming couplets, um, uh, you must remember that we, uh, while reading, we had, oops, okay. We observed that uh, this poem has three stanzas, three stanzas uh, and in each stanza we have eight lines and every two lines rhyme. We also discuss the uh, words which are rhyming now. Every two lines have rhyming words, okay? Two lines, then two lines, then two lines. So this is called the rhyming couplets. So, okay, apparently this poem tells a simple story. Yes, it's a simple story about a stupid, like, it, uh, like whatever you say. Uh, the boy was not uh, wise to do such things and uh, we have discussed it before as well but in the hindsight hindsight means in the uh, like uh, the hidden um, meaning like it, a hidden meaning is that cheats never prosper jo bhi cheat karta hai wo kabhi bhi they cannot pass the exams C can you see the picture on your uh, uh, right hand side, like right hand side of your screen, it's a history test, and there is a F written here with a red color. So, uh, cheats never prosper. Okay. Next, we are there. Here is a picture. Like uh, he's he has been punished to write it. I think how many times uh, he has to fill the board. Okay. And this is his punishment. Maybe he's the same boy uh, we are discussing. Hmm? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, now, uh, as uh, I told you that there are there are several aspects, bhosari uh, which we have to discuss. Okay. Uh, in order to solve the questions, uh, Joe, uh, understanding the poetry you have uh, on your uh, the end end of your uh, poem. So for that, you will be needing to understand some questions, right? Some students are really late. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have started. Uh, please be on time. Which item of clothing did the child write notes on? Now this is for you to answer. Uh, okay. I'm coming to you. Oh, who is this? This is Miss 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 is an enemy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Now let's ask whom. Just to get an idea. Who wants to answer? Okay, G. Hanya. Okay, whom should I? Achha. Yes, miss. Uh, G. Hania, you are from 5C. Section. Yes, miss. Hania, uh, dear, uh, to, dear, today you can attend uh, my class, but please, um, uh, you need to uh, confirm the ID on WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, next time you have to confirm the ID, right? Fine. Miss? Achha ji, I was asking uh, uh, that which items of clothing did the child write notes on? A uh, quick answer from anyone. I think. Teacher, can I tell? Yes, you can. You may, please. G. The items of clothing the child wrote notes on are inside his coat vest. Okay, nice, really nice. So uh, everyone uh, got it? Uh, that uh, in the poem uh, there is a vivid detail 
uh, clear detail of these things and that de there is a detail of some items of clothing that the child used to write notes on okay uh, okay nice theek hai ji there is a detail of some items of clothing that the child used to write notes on these include inside his coat and possibly in his socks and shirt and jacket sleeves sleeves kis uh, like uh, he left no none of the possibilities uh, he wrote everywhere theek hai na every piece of cloth he utilized let's see okay scribbled notes very tiny writing handwriting you can see uh, like i cannot read it how would he without the classes it's it's a funny thing okay uh the next thing is hmm inside the coat okay the vest he wore all these things oh a note in a sleeve sleeve mein how did he keep the note in the sleeve and in the sock i don't know where he wrote it but it's it's mentioned in the poem by the poet and this is how things worked so all these uh, things are showing us how the boy uh, kept uh, that uh, uh, those scribbled notes and uh, written in secret codes fine okay uh, the second thing which comes to the mind uh, after reading uh, the poem is uh, there are some phrases uh, used to emphasize on uh, the like uh, the the uh, poems the intensity of a boy's uh, um, uh, desire how he needed the uh, those uh, things so uh, find two phrases to show that the child has written the notes in such a way that others will not be able to understand g one more thing which he wanted uh, to happen was uh, that only he could read the notes okay Uh, he did not want any of the um, invigilators or any friend or someone else to read those things so let's come to you again and okay yes uh please uh if you want to answer do you have anything okay. in your mind yes uh, are there yes. any phrases hai koi any phrases yes Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, beta. That only I can understand my scribbling notes in secret code. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, some phrases are included in the poem to show that the child has written the notes in such a way that others will not be able to read them. For example, yes, as Navish told, uh, that only I can understand. And the second uh, phrase is in secret codes. Fine. Okay, what emotions does does the child usually feel before a test? Uh, acha ji, any other student, any idea? Ji, paya uh, ba, anyone? Acha, Muhammad Ali, you are raising hand. Fine, Muhammad Ali. Ji, I have unmuted you. You are unmuted. Ji, what emotions does the child usually feel? What do you feel before a test, especially a history test? Ji, Muhammad Ali, wanna share? uh g what do you feel before a test what are you feeling your your feelings mohammad ali acha you don't want to share your feelings with me okay uh let's see whom should i ask acha acha you are raising hand i have unmuted you as well but you are not answering uh dania you want to you want to share acha daya dania and ayan are unmuted uh, both of you can share what emotions What do you feel before a test? G, uh, please uh, keep keep your background. Uh, uh, please. Okay, students. There was noise uh, in your backgrounds, uh, so I I have unmute. Uh, I have muted again. Acha ji, Ayan Malik. I am unmuting you. Please try to keep your background. Uh, noiseless and try to answer 
keep try to keep your background calm uh ji i need your answers i am i am actually discussing the questions over here and i need need your participation and your answers please uh matlab it's fun actually it's a funny bomb you can give funny answers and we can have fun yes acha okay no one is answering so i am proceeding further um what emotions does the child usually feel before a test the child says in the poem okay we are discussing the poem so uh the child says that he wasn't nervous wasn't scared so we can suppose that uh, these are the emotions he usually feels before a test okay he was not uh, worried at all and you know what was the reason behind it because he had all the relevant stuff all the scribbled notes and uh, like the the things he had kept in order to help him theek hai so this is okay g let's okay the next question is why can't the child read the notes anyone g why can't the child read the notes this is a really simple and easy answer uh ji danya would you like to would you like to share your answer with us danya fridi okay yes danya assalam alaikum danya would you like to share your answer beta why can't the child read the notes what's wrong with him yes danya danya acha danya i can't hear you acha ji uh danya i can't hear you beta acha theek hai uh let's ask someone else who is this arez is here okay ji arez you are unmuted ji arez would you like to share actually it's your class it's uh, your turn because we have uh, had all the discussions we had the explanation and all that now these are some questions uh, um, which have to be answered right by you so please participate uh, arez kindly unmute your mic okay uh sibga was there who wants to mohammad ayan ji mohammad yes. assalamu alaikum mohammad ayan nice nice to see you here again after uh, a very long holiday hai na 10 days holidays acha ji uh, actually uh, i have been asking this questions to several students why can't the child read the notes ठीक है um do you have any idea what what could be the reason behind it hmm why can't he read the notes do you do you remember the explanation g i am a really really easy answer okay okay keep thinking ayan keep thinking i'll be coming back to you uh, let let me ask uh, from some someone else okay zerva you want to answer or not theek hai acha i think there is some issue with the this is hamza ali hamza you are unmuted hamza a quick answer please we are running out of time we have only 11 minutes left i think ji acha chale let's <laughs> the child could not read the notes because he left his glasses at home i have been talking about the consequences uh Uh, while uh, doing the reading and explanation uh, we discussed this point time and again uh, that the uh, the most important thing he needed was his glasses but he ignored uh, like he forgot these glasses at home and he brought all the other things along with him and that uh, that didn't work he could not do anything and he got what failed fine ji acha there was a picture of the glasses acha let me go to the okay 
your idea about attempting exams now i want your participation please i'm unmuting you all now okay uh now you all are unmuted one by one please raise your hand and tell me what is your idea about attempting the exams how should you attempt the exams like this boy or you have something else in your mind student can i share my answer yes why not yes you are welcome please share your idea about attempting the exam it is, yeah it is never a good idea to cheat in exams if one should cheat he would not be able so one should study and well prepare himself in the best possible way okay excellent answer yes of course we should be well prepared for the exams anyone else your idea i need your ideas about attempting the exams any exam you know exams are uh, like yes ourselves for exams we should prepare ourselves for exams yes any anyone else who wants yes yes please me hmm if you have not attempted the exams we can no yes isse pehle wala sawal to wo beta you want to answer this one or not uh, dear dear i am discussing this one i'll be telling you all i will be reviewing all the points theek hai i always i always uh, assure you that all the points discussed here will be recap and will be discussed in the end never get upset never uh, get worried about it theek hai right now focus on the current slide i just want uh, some um, uh, ideas from your side i want to know what do you think about exams theek hai you all attempt the exams okay every student attempt exams what's your idea kindly share share here unmute kiya hua to you are unmuted beta you can share your idea you all are unmuted yes beta i need to hear your like i i need to know about your ideas acha theek hai uh let's see what okay can you can you look at this picture and uh, okay. guess what this boy was up to initially yes. exam in first attempt he was so much worried uh, in the picture you can see that he's worried and uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry in the uh, you can see in the picture that the boy is so much worried uh, he's thinking exam in first attempt how would i i attempt in first like uh, in how would i clear my exams in first attempt but uh, the the other half of the picture is showing what the same boy is sitting on the table in a manner uh, uh, like in a very organized way and he is thinking what yes i can with the perfect study plan if you do uh, a small amount of stuff daily uh, you you uh, keep it a, make it a routine to study daily uh, then you are never gonna suffer in your exam days theek hai this is the message this is the moral you cannot get to uh, in your exam uh, by cheating or by uh, taking the the stuff the uh, cheating material or whatever with you but you should study and it is definitely going to take less time uh, for you okay so is it a good idea to cheat in exams what should one do instead of cheating you you answered uh, you, i had your answers and all of you said that it is never a good idea to cheat in exams one should study instead of cheating okay we should be fair we, we should be honest okay there is another th uh, like uh, point uh, which is really interesting about this uh, as um, we have discussed many times that this is a humorous poem this is a funny poem so what makes it funny because boy was so worried uh, uh, if we if we look at him uh, when he he came to know that the glasses are missing he became worried so what makes it humorous ji what makes it humorous the things that are unlikely to be some things are um, mentioned in the poem which are which cannot be true which cannot be true right 
and what are these things like uh, the way he mentioned many things okay all the winners of every olympic game of buildings people places too from tennessee to timbuktu and another line which i found uh, really really interesting everything everything from shakespeare's plays how is it possible and who invented mayonnaise up uh, like i don't know a normal uh, normal student or normal person wants to know about uh, the inventor of mayonnaise have you ever thought of it i haven't okay uh, like uh, okay these things seem untrue these these things are not true this can't be done so uh, like uh, it makes us a smile okay who who can do these so a child cannot write so much on the pieces of cloth socks or small bits of paper the, it's such as like small child uh, we saw in the picture he was small and he had small clothes and he wrote that like this much no he cannot so it makes us smile and this makes the poem funny right if the child had written all these notes would he she need to cheat this is another point uh, which comes to our mind acha uh, there there is a very um, useful thing which you should uh, uh, learn and apply in your life too right the time and effort it would take to write out all the things mentioned uh, would have been better spent on studying as i showed you the picture the first the boy was worried but then he thought that he should be organized he should make a routine a study plan and then things would things would be easy for him okay and rel relatively short amount of content needed okay ye uh, when he was uh, using the scribbled notes and all that it took a lot of time you you need to have a lot of effort and time to uh, uh, write the uh, tiny uh, tiny notes scribble uh, scribble notes and you should you have to write on the papers small papers and keep them like pin them inside your uh, coat and all that so that is much more difficult than studying regularly because it, it, because it is um it is gonna uh, help you a lot theek okay? hai studying regularly okay fine so is there a moral to this poem yes we discussed uh, that cheats never prosper we discussed in the beginning of our today's class that cheats never cheat means whoever uses unfair means can never uh, uh, get success okay never be successful it's better to prepare for example better study plan and avoid cheating keep this a rule in your life let's recap right This morning is our history test. It's a humorous poem written in rhyming couplets. We have discussed. It gives a clear message that she's never prospered. Although the child had prepared all the material, he could not read the notes because he left his classes at home. This tells us the consequences of being dishonest. Whenever you are dishonest, you can never prosper. It is never a good idea to cheat in exams. One should study instead of cheating. The time and effort it would take to write all the things uh, mentioned in the poem would have better spent on studying and relatively short amount of content needed for a school history test. So this is how you are going to do your work. Kindly see very carefully. This is how you are going to prepare your work page in your notebook English English notebook, right? Okay, got it. now come to the most important and most interesting part g this is your homework for today kindly note it down it will also be sent to you on whatsapp groups you can note note down here as, as well and this is all for today's class um it was fun uh doing this poem uh, like uh, the explanation and the, these points these questions which we discussed today uh, i hope uh, that you will be um, learning a lesson as well for for the whole life uh, that you are not going to behave like this kid ever in your life so this is all for today's class uh, kindly do this work and send me uh, the images uh, inshallah we will be continuing the same topic you need to listen to tomorrow and um, i hope that you are going to do very well in every aspect of your life so thank you so much and allah hafiz